In this video, I want to take a closer look at groups with a prime number of elements. Let's let G be a group that has a prime number of elements denoted by P. Let's let A be any element of this group. And let's consider the cyclic group generated by A. Well, based on Lagrange's theorem, we know that the order of this cyclic group divides the total number of elements. So either this cyclic group has order one or order p. If it has order one, that implies a is the identity. So that means the subgroup generated by a is exactly the, uh, the group g. So what we just showed is that if g is a group with a prime number of elements, then it is guaranteed to be a cyclic group. Not only is it cyclic, any element that's not the identity in this group is a generator of the group. While this is only a consequence of Lagrange's theorem, it's still quite remarkable by itself. So what this is telling us is that there is, up to isomorphism, only one group of any given prime number p. So for instance, if I want to consider all of the groups of order seven, there's just one, Z7. If I want to consider all the groups of order 11, there's one, Z11. And this results, like I said, if it has a prime number of elements, then it must be a cyclic group. And in a previous video, I proved that if it's a cyclic group with n elements, it's isomorphic to Zn. So with this, we actually have complete information about all of the groups whose order is a prime number.